Setting up the tripod is a fairly straightforward process where you take the tripod out of the bag, you pull out the boom like so, you take the little handle for height adjusting and put that there, and then you open up the legs, put that thing down to lock in position, you open the notches on the side to allow you to elongate the legs, There we go. You want to be as high as possible because when you are filming from a higher angle, you get a nicer shot of the speaker. Over here on the side, there is a little knot. You loosen the knot so that you can pull the head of the tripod out. Keep in mind that you have the little handle here. It should be upright, otherwise this will not work. It will lock against one of the legs. So, with the tripod fully extended, you close the knot again and lock it in position like so. And with the tripod now ready to go, we install the camera. It goes in at an angle, push it forward until it won't go any further, press slowly down, this should not need a lot of force, and the little lever here jumped forward, you just press it in fully, now it is in position, and the camera has nowhere to go. Next, we connect the power box. It has one longer cable, which goes into the camera. The connector to the camera for power is over here at the back, and you slide that in. And route the cable towards the front of the camera so that it is out of the way. Next, we connect the signal converter. This takes the HDMI input and turns it into an SDI output. It has this small cable. You connect the HDMI one, and we now need to attach this to the tripod. Keep an eye on the connector. You don't want any tension on it. Same thing later when we connect the SDI at the bottom. We don't want any bending or anything like that. So put it on the, uh, on the tripod, but leave some space at the top and leave some space at the bottom. To connect it, you grab a bit of tape and you put that over it in the middle. I mean, it doesn't have to be exact. And I tend to go because there's one flat side on the tripod where the uh, mechanism for rolling it up and down attaches. I use that flat surface to put the converter against and then I just take my bits of tape, attach it to the tripod. One trick I do is the end bit of the tape I roll that back up on the fold that back on itself. So there is always a bit sticking out. So that when you're done filming, you can just grab it and you already have your starting point for taking the tape off. And you then take the HDMI cable and you open up the camera. It will automatically turn on and you put it in the little connector. To support the power box so that there's not a lot of tension on the cable itself, I take the front side of the power box and I tape that to the converter. I always make sure to get a little bit of the tape on the top of the converter box so that whenever the power box wants to drop down, it's not just the tension of the glue, but also the fact that it has to make the 90 degree angle that is keeping it in position. Don't forget to put one of the connectors from the power box also in the signal converter. Otherwise, obviously, it will not work. Finally, you take your SDI cable and you connect it. Like so. And then when you connect power, make 
make sure it's a proper connector. This knot will lie on, will want to tilt sometimes. Don't force it, just loosen it, do it again, make sure it's proper. You will notice on the inside of the power box that a little LED will have lit up. On the signal converter box at the bottom, you will see a red LED to indicate it's got power. If you have a two LED signal converter box, it will also have a green LED to indicate that it is getting an HDMI signal from the camera that it understands. If the red light isn't on, it means your power converter box isn't working. If the green light isn't on, it means that there is no signal coming through the HDMI cable from the camera. To see if the camera is getting power, tap on the screen. The indicator icons will appear and if in the bottom right you see an indicator for the battery, it means it's running off the battery and not off of the power you're providing to it. So have a look into that. For focusing the camera, we start by pressing the manual button here. A menu appears, click AI plus, IA plus, sorry. You will see light and contrast and everything looks a lot nicer now. Next, you zoom in to where the lectern is and zoom in as far as you can and make sure that there is something on the screen that you can recognize as being in focus. So the next thing we do is we go from IA plus back to manual. Then from this menu at the top, we click focus. It's set to autofocus, we set it to manual focus. This will mean that if something appears in front of the camera, the camera will not try to focus on that, but will stay focused on this item we are focused at now. So if we now zoom out to roughly where we expect the speaker to be standing, we want to be able to see all of the speaker, um, but focus will now be on that point. I can keep my hand in front of the camera. Nothing's going to change. Camera will stay focused on that thing in the distance, whatever it is. The other thing I always do is I click on the two arrows over there to appear to show the menu and then I click iris at the bottom. This is how bright the image is going to be, but changing it uh, occurs in jumps. So it's currently set to 6 dB. I can make it darker. As you can tell, that goes in fairly abrupt steps, or I can make it brighter. Again, in very abrupt steps. And you can go super bright depending upon what you want or what you need for that matter. More often than not, you will find that there is enough light in the room to make it work for you. Set it to something that works. The reason you set this and keep it on the screen is to ensure that the camera doesn't decide to change the brightness of the image coming in when the speaker, for instance, stands in front of the projection screen. The speaker will be lit up by the projection, but that should not change the brightness settings for the camera. Ideally, throughout the talk, you should not need to change this. But if you, for whatever reason, have to, like when there is uh, uh, sunlight coming into the room and it's going dark or it's getting very bright or rainy or the light that comes into the room changes. If it changes by a lot, you should change it. But mostly try to do so only in uh, break time in between talks. During a talk, it's not a big deal if you choose to do so, but try not to.